Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, today we are going to be doing something that doesn't happen too often on the channel, and that is summon on the JP side of the game. As you guys know, I usually like to wait until a unit drops on global before I pull for them, but this new Goku and Vegeta is just really, really dope, and it'd be awesome if I could test them out right now before the eventual global release, right? So, uh, yeah, we're not gonna go too crazy in this video. I'm thinking three to 400 stones, six to eight multis, and uh, we'll see what happens. Now, before we jump in, let's take a quick look at the banner. Overall, I think it's really, really solid. We got the new Goku slash Vegeta. We have the new Jocko, which is an awesome side unit. And then we have the Tech Androids, we have the STR Super Vegeta, and uh, also the Fizz Angel Final Form Frieza. And the rest of the featured SSRs are just okay. We got Beerus, we got Jiren, and uh, that's it. So yeah, these two guys are not as exciting, but these three, I would say, are still top tier TURs in the game. And obviously we got the two new units. So. A uh, pretty good banner overall. I would give it like a 8 out of 10. And with that said, let's jump in here. First multi, feel free to jump in with me for a group summon. In fact, I will do a count, so get ready if you guys want to do this group summon. We're pulling down, we're getting a fusion, and let's go in 3, 2, 1. Let it rip. Okay, so it's going to go... Actually, there aren't any LRs on the banner, so it has to be Super Vegito. So we have like a 1 in... is it 4 chance? I think it's 1 in 4 for a Dokkan Fest featured unit, right? So here we go. Hopefully, it's the Goku and Vegeta, but I'll take the androids. I don't have them on this account. Um, I'll take the Super Vegeta. That'd be awesome too. Um, Beerus would be less awesome. So of course... We get him. <laughs> Yo, why do I keep doing this? How do I keep doing this? I don't understand what's happening, because if you guys missed my uh, Ginyu summon on Global this morning, uh, I was literally saying, like, I do not want Kefla. Like, I, the Kefla would probably be the worst possible pull for me on this banner. And as soon as I said that, as soon as I said that, guess who shows up? Freaking Kefla. It, it was uncanny. It was, it was like, I, I couldn't explain it, you know? And um, same thing just happened here. I was like, yo, we don't want Beerus. Beerus would not be a very exciting pull. And, and there he is. So maybe I should just stop talking. Like maybe I should just remain silent throughout these summoning videos. Because it feels like the game is using my words against me, you know, like every time I say I don't want X unit, they're like, oh, you want this unit, we heard the name, so that must mean you want them, right, so, yeah, I just gotta shut up and, and, and just remain silent, okay, so we got the uh, Fizz Angel Final Form Frieza, really, really good unit, really good, this Trunks too is actually solid, but um, that's two featured units back to back, that's actually a really good sign, although, of course, um, not as exciting as getting the new unit, but at least we're getting featured units. Like, I've done, you know, five, six, seven multis in a row without getting a single featured, and there's nothing worse than that. Like, in the past, you know, there were multis where you got no SSRs, right, before we got the guaranteed SSRs. But if you think about it, like, getting a bunch of random unfeatured SSRs for your guaranteed is not really that much better, <laughs> right? Like, the only benefit to that compared to no SSR is a couple more Baba points. And at this point, like, we don't really need more Baba points until they introduce some kind of system or something we can buy with Baba points that's more valuable than the um, support memory film. It's still not that exciting to get more Baba points. Um, we're going through these multis really quickly. And it's not going great. It's not going great. You know, I haven't seen like a guaranteed animation in forever, man. Like, 
going back to the last four banners on uh, global. So like the last two months, basically, I haven't seen a single animation. It's not like I don't summon. You guys know I summon on every banner anywhere between 500 to like 1500, 2000 stones. And yo, these animations have just eluded me for the longest time. And you know, I it's to be expected. You get some dry spells or you get some droughts from time to time. But uh, this is a pretty long one, man. This is one of the longer ones that I've experienced in recent memory. I just heard myself say that, and it, it came out kind of weird. Um, moving on. Anyways, uh, <laughs> hopefully, hopefully things change, man. Hopefully things change within these next couple of multis. Because if not, then. I mean, there's not much I can do, is there? there? There's not much I can do. I guess I just gotta stop summoning for a while, but I can't because we got the anniversary coming up next, so I have to summon for the anniversary. There, there's no doubt about that. Like, there's no no way I can skip the anniversary. Um, and I highly recommend all of you guys watching right now to do the same. Okay, if there's any like part of you that's like, yo, maybe I should skip the anniversary. You know, I don't really care too much about. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, which I don't understand at all. Like, that just conceptually makes no sense to me. But let's say you're not a big fan of GT. Let's say you don't care about Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Let's say you didn't like the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie, which also is insane to me. But let's say that's the case, right? You should still summon, because the value on those anniversary banners is just off the charts, man. It's, it's unreal. So... Even if you don't want the main units, there's so many great LRs on, on those banners. There's so many just great units overall. Um, so it's, it's like a must summon. There, there's no doubt about that. It's, it's a must, must summon for everybody. Um, okay, so we got a Super Saiyan God, right? Super Saiyan to Super Saiyan God, Goku. Uh, we're getting close, right? One step before Super Saiyan Blue. <laughs> so... I guess we're getting there. Um, this is about to be multi number seven, right? This is about to be in the multi number seven. And, you know, since we got those two featured um, units, the Beerus and the, the Frieza, nothing else, nothing else. Yeah, we're, we're on one of those droughts right now, man, one of those dry spells, and I don't know how to break it. I'm hoping what this means is that we're gonna have the nastiest luck on the global anniversary. That's the only thing that's gonna help me sleep at night at this point, because um, I, I can't accept anything less than rainbowing both these seventh anniversary LRs on my global accounts within like 2,000 stones now. <laughs> of course, I know that's not how it works, but I mean, you gotta give me something, game. You gotta give me something. So, hopefully that's the case. This is a guaranteed fusion. If you guys didn't know, you get the Vegeta, you get a Trunks. That is 100% going to be a fusion. We got the text too, which is another sign. But yeah, even if there wasn't the gold text, it would still be a guaranteed fusion. At least based on my experience, 100% of the time. If it's just Trunks and Vegeta. If there are other characters, then it doesn't always happen. But if it's solely Goku flying in with Vegeta and Trunks. That is a guaranteed fusion, so I'm gonna say this is the last multi of the video, but let's make it count. Let's make it one more group summon. Jump in with me, guys. Share some luck with me, because I need it, and I'll share some with you too. It's like a reciprocal kind of relationship. Let's go together in three, two, one. Let it rip. Ah. <sighs> Come on, game. Come on, game. Throw me a bone. Throw me a freaking bone, man. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Another Frieza. That's cool. I mean, once again, this account is pretty bare, you know, outside of, like, some, uh... LR from the anniversary and like a few summons I've done here and there. Um, it, it doesn't have much. 
it doesn't have much, so I, I could use almost everything I pull at this point. You know, it's either a useful dupe. Oh, I'll take that Vegeta. I'll take that Vegeta. That's a great multi, man. All things considered, I mean, really good multi. But <laughs> not really that satisfying. Not really that satisfying. Like this guy's new. He, I know for a fact he's new. This guy is a dupe, but he's amazing. Um, but we we we, we got to do one more. <laughs> we we just got to. We have to. Last one, and then we're gonna call it a day. Um, we got the got the combo. We got the androids. I like to see that. Maybe it means we're gonna get the androids, which would not be a bad thing. But I'd rather, I'd rather have the Goku and Vegeta. So um, if you want to give that to me instead, that'd be great. Game. Why so many freezes? <laughs> why, why so many freezes? Is not bad. Just why? Just why? Okay, so apparently Frieza has um, invaded this account and taken over all my summons. One more. One more. Last one, maybe. I still have 50 stones, so I guess. <laughs> I mean, if you guys know me well enough, if you guys have been watching my channel for long enough, you probably know. Um, if we don't get the Goku and Vegeta here, we are gonna spend those final 50 stones. That's just something that, uh, you know, that happens on this channel. JP summons don't happen too often. But, ill-advised additional multis are a staple. They're a staple, for sure. And, oh, okay, Whis? Yo, don't, don't give me hope. Don't give me hope, don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. Okay, here we go. Is, is it possible to get a fusion into a Whis Rewind? No, I, I don't know. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I've never had it before. Um, if you guys have seen that before, let me know. Like, can you get a Whis, or rather a Super Vegito fusion into a Whis Rewind animation to, you know, get the guaranteed featured unit? Not sure. Not sure. I mean, I've never seen it, so to me, it's not possible. But, uh, maybe, just maybe. Maybe, just maybe. Someone has seen it before. Oh my god, it's freaking Jiren. <laughs> You're kidding me. Yo. That's what I was saying, man. This game is cruel sometimes. They give me uh, that little bit of hope that, like, maybe for my last pull, I'm gonna get the new Goku and Vegeta. And instead, they give me the worst featured SSR on the banner. Right now, at least, before his eventual EZA, which is probably going to be amazing, but right now, unquestionably, the worst featured SSR <laughs> on the banner for my last multi. They gave me the Whis too. You know, they, they showed me Whis. They're like, yo, there's a chance. You might get the Whis Rewind. Gave me the Fusion. And they give me STR Jiren. This game can be cruel sometimes, guys. It definitely can. Well, anyways, um, that's it. That's it. I'm calling it. I'm not buying any more stones. Uh, you know, not worth it. Not worth it. We'll be back. No, nah, maybe. Maybe. I'll think about it. Um, but anyways, mission failed. Did not get Goku and Vegeta, I guess, you know, like we normally do. I'll wait for them to release on global, and then uh, hopefully the luck is a little bit better on that side at that time. 
Um, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully your luck is better than mine. Hopefully you're pulling lots of fire, lots of Gokus and Vegetas, lots of Ginyus on uh, Global, or just saving a lot of stones for the anniversary, which is coming up very, very soon. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.